Hello folks, long time now see. In this video we're going to install a gate and a fish pond all at the same time. This is kind of like a bit of a journal video or getting into things. I uh, could have done with a helping hand here but I was on my own doing this, these particular jobs. So anyway, we've got the gate and the pond all at the same time. We've got a post there for the gate. Got a second hand uh, fish pond plastic thingamajig there which uh, stick in a hole which I'm going to dig shortly in this video. I've already dug it in real life of course because the video's already been made. Waterfall there, just saw, uh, it's going quite quick here, so we've got a post, blackjack to waterproof the post, and some little stakes I'm going to make, and there we are, put the first coat on there. I've uh, got some white spirit there to clean off the brushes, uh, all the instructions of course are on the um, materials, so I put three uh, coats of blackjack on that particular post, and a couple of coats on the stakes, which you'll see shortly. Dug half the hole there for the uh, fish pond. Uh, I, I did one half one day and the second half the next day just because I was a bit knackered. Uh, made a little uh, mound which I'm going to turn into a glassberry tour which you saw there. Got the gate there. Lovely day on this particular day. So this is spread out over a few days because we use concrete. Look in there. My little gunner is coming through. I've just moved my gunner so I hope I haven't killed it or anything. But uh, that's going to come up so we can make some concrete leaves perhaps. Got me spade there to dig the rest of the hole out in the fish pond. You can see that little water feature there, the uh, waterfall, which I'll install at a later date, and that can be another video. And there's the old uh, fish pond plastic thingamajig that we're sticking the hole to make our fish pond. And uh, so finished off uh, digging the second half of the hole, and there you can see fish pond, lovely jubbly inside the hole there. Got some, some uh, packing stuff, special stuff that you put around the fish pond just to give it some protection against stones inside the hole. Uh, backfilled it with uh, dirt, as you can see, soil, and uh, we'll uh, make a feature of that, and that'll be featured in a future video. So the fish pond's in there, and put some weed in there, and have some bits and pieces in there, like snails and stuff like that. Anyway, we've got some hinges on the gate, quite going at a million miles per hour there. So uh, hinges on the gate, ready to go, drill some holes in the wall. Um, because I didn't have a helper, I used some wood on the floor just to space the gate and help me out like a helping hand. So we've got the drills hold. Hold, drills, hold, holes drilled, for God's sake. I was hoping to make, uh, actually do some casting in this video, but we actually ran out of concrete, so I couldn't do any casting. You can see there had a couple of moulds. And there we are, uh, fixed the uh, gate to the wall with the hinges. Uh, nice, solid fixings there. And you can see the spacings underneath, so that's lovely, jubbly, nice and straight. And uh, ready to uh, stick the post in. Now we've got the, the uh, gate up. So like I say, got the post and uh, we put the blackjack on it to waterproof it and I'm going to use some stakes, that's like belt and braces because I'm not sure if my, stake, uh, with my post was long enough uh, but uh, just checking out the gate there, swinging backwards and forwards, lovely jubbly and then now we're going to dig a hole for the post to uh, install the post and put in some concrete to secure the post in the ground so there I'm just like firing about there, uh, showing off my handiwork with the uh, gate backwards and forwards and uh, a bit too much video footage there of showing the gate <laughs> anyway there we are we got this we got the stakes there all black jacked up and the post all ready to go to install um, into the hole that, which we will dig messy stuff there I say if I had a helping hand there we could have somebody film the actual process but I had to do it in stages so I do one stage of the job then come back and film it I haven't done a video for a long time on Drama Mask, but I'm hoping to, hoping to um, do some more videos over the course of time. Right, now we've got some post -crete. Uh I'm not advocating any particular brand here, just stuff. I've, most of the stuff I bought off of eBay, or bought from eBay. So there we have dug, dug the hole there, and uh, put in the post, put some stakes in there to hold it and give it some extra support. And uh, we can just stick in the uh, post -crete. The instructions, of course, are on the... Uh, side of the pack at the postcrete. I've never used postcrete before. I think postcrete might be a trade name as well, but this this was whatever it said on there, but it's the same as postcrete. So you, you actually just pour the contents of the bag into the hole and then just add water with the watering can, as you can see there. And uh, I had to mix it around a little bit with my trowel, but uh, Bob's your uncle, lovely jubbly. I thought I was only going to need one bag, but I did need two bags at the end, so I let that go off, ordered another bag, waited for that to come, then... Then topped up the hole to give us give ourselves a nice solid foundation base for the post. Like I say, I would have casted some uh, cast in the, the latex molds because this channel is mainly sort of uh, molding and casting. 
I said Drama Mask earlier, but of course I've changed changed my name to Drama's Molding Channel now and DIY Channel. So there we are, Drama Mask Moon Runner twenty twenty three. Like to like mark where I am, like a bit of a graffiti person. And uh, Moon Runner is the name of my music channel on YouTube plus my gaming channel. So you've got Moon Runner Music and Moon Runner nineteen seventy three, which is a gaming channel. And a little bit of concrete left over, so I filled a hole there on the back path. Always handy. So that's a uh, job done there. Fish pond there. I'm gonna. I've got a uh, got some just tidying up the garden. So we have got some uh, garden waste there. I'm gonna put that in the corner there and turn it into a compost heap. And I want to put some more little spots around the garden to turn into sort of like you know, wild life areas. Anyway, we've got the hinge there for the uh, gate, so that now the concrete's set. We can. Uh, we can stick the old hinge in place, lovely jubbly, that's working a treat. And we can tidy up the gate, I'll put a cap on top of the post and we'll uh, paint the gate also. So that turned out quite nice. Gate a little bit warped as it might happen, you know, because of the water and moisture in the gate, but I can sort that out over the course of time, not a big problem really. So uh, there we are. Um, I ordered some grass seed to put on top of that little mound there, which I'm going to turn into a little Glastonbury tour feature, compost heap there again. And uh, perhaps I'll sculpt some sort of Glastonbury tour uh, thing and make a mould and, I don't know, make something out of concrete to make a little Glastonbury tour feature. Incidentally, Glastonbury tour is just 10 miles away from me and I can see Glastonbury tour from uh, where I live. There's a little, you can see the wood there, drill. I just put a bit of wood there on the side of the uh, post. That's just for aesthetic reasons, really, just to make it look nice, polish it off. Um, and make the gate, so there wasn't too much of a gap on the right-hand side, because the post uh, was a little bit little bit out from the gate. And uh, that'll all merge in once we uh, stick the fence paint on. Grass seed there, ready to stick on that mound, like I said earlier. So... Uh, so yeah, I was sort of looking forward to seeing what that looks like to turn that into a Glastonbury tour, a little mini Glastonbury tour. We've got the cap on the top of the post there, lovely jubbly. I screwed it in. I was looking for some nail, nails, which probably would have been a better job really just to nail that thing into place, but I couldn't find any nails, so I just screwed it in because all my workspaces are um, chocker and couldn't find anything, so I've been tidying that out as well. So uh, getting ready to do some more... Uh, jobs and things and perhaps put some more uh, videos on the channel you can see there i've got that uh, uh red cedar uh fence paint uh i i I'd rather have a stain really i ordered that and uh anyway as i'd order it i just carried on and painted the uh, red cedar paint onto the thingy but i would have preferred a stain to keep that sort of natural wood look but there we go uh maybe next time when that paint's worn away i'll uh, put a stain on there instead because i do prefer that natural wood look so I put the grass seed all over the place there, filled a few patches in the lawn where I'd been making some alterations, moving some bulbs and all that type of thing. It's going to tidy up the garden and put some natural areas in, like I said. So did a second coat of paint as well, got numbers there, put on the door, a little beware of the dog thing. I haven't got a dog, I've got a cat, but that'll like uh, scare any unsavouries off with a bit of luck. Well, just in case. So you see the screw uh, marks there, I used a bit of that blackjack just to paint over the top of the screws and that hit the screws and uh, kind of... There we go, look, and uh, sort of polished it off a little bit better. So there we are, that's pretty much it, really. So we've got the fish pond in place. We'll continue that at some point, do some more statues, concrete, moulding and all that malarkey, and uh, perhaps some more DIY jobs, which pop up as and when over these warmer months. So there we are. Job done. Gate's finished. Happy with that. I'll put a shrub there just to hide that little gap there. So we filled it in with uh, soil there. So all back to normal. Just need to put a shrub there because otherwise there's no point in putting a gate there. People just walk around the side. So I'll put a little evergreen shrub perhaps in there or maybe a deciduous something in there as well just to block that area and make it look nice. There's lots of things in there that will grow up right now as the sun is coming out and the months are getting warmer. So it's the 1st of May today, but uh, this video was uh, filmed over the last couple of weeks in April. So that's about it. Um... I hope that helped anybody that are doing these little DIY jobs. Um, sorry I couldn't actually film the actual process. It was a bit fiddly at the time. I could do with a helper, like I say. Uh, but there we are. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Waffling, and we'll see you soon. Over and out for now.